Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up uploading new contacts from Zoho CRM to the system you need via Webhook. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new contacts from Zoho CRM to other systems. For example, you can send data from Zoho CRM to the system you need via Webhook, conveniently store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next you need to select the Zoho CRM data source system. Next, you need to choose an action. Get contacts, new. Next you need to connect your Zoho CRM account to the Apex Drive system. In this window we need to specify the username and password of the Zoho personal account. You also need to grant Apex Drive permission to work with your Zoho account. When the connected login is displayed in the list select it. No additional settings are provided for the Zoho system, so just click continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click continue. At this stage, you see data for one of your contacts. If everything suits you, click next. This completes the setup of the Zoho CRM data source successfully. Now you need to go to the data reception settings. Select Webhook as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action. Send data. At this stage, you need to connect your system via Webhook to the Apex Drive system. To do this, you must specify the URL to which the data will be sent. You can get this URL in the system to which you plan to send data via Webhook. Where exactly it is, you can check with your system support or refer to their help materials. I will show an example of connection on the Corizoid system. In order to get the URL you need to create a new process. Come up with a name for this process. In order to get the link you need to click on the start button and copy it in this field. Link should look like this. After you have received a link to send a webhook in the system you need and paste it in this field, click save. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this stage you see the link you have included. You also need to clarify and support what type of data sending should be. Post, post JSON, or GET. For the Corizoid system, the type of sending post JSON data is suitable, so I choose it. Next you see a set of options. In the name field, you need to specify the name of the variable that will be understood by the system to which you are sending data via webhook. Which variable names you can use, you can also check with your system support or refer to their webhook help material. I will use variable names for Corizoid. In the value field, select it is necessary to select from the drop-down list a variable from Zoho CRM that contains the desired value. In order for another set of variables to appear, click Add. When all the required parameters are filled in, click Continue. 
At this stage, you see an example of data that will be sent via webhook to the system you need, in this case, to the Corizoid system. If something does not suit you, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Webhook. After successful sending, go to the system you need and check the result. In this case, I'm switching to Corizoid. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. This completes the configuration of receiving webhook data successfully. Now you need to enable auto-update and select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.